Firefox OS is an open source smartphone platform backed by the nonprofit Mozilla Foundation. Its goal is to give everyone access to the internet and apps through affordable smartphones. We're reviewing the OS itself, and for this demo, we're using the OpenSea from ZTE. Firefox OS draws inspiration from both Android and iOS. Like iOS, it has a single hardware key, Home, while the rest of the navigation controls are on screen. The lock screen is pretty simple with a clock and a list of recent notifications. It also has a camera shortcut, but no widgets. The home screen lacks widgets as well. Instead, it has a grid of icons. The feature that sets it apart is Smart Collections. They act like folders, grouping similar apps, but they don't have to be apps installed on the device. Typing in a query in the I'm thinking of field will find both installed apps and mobile sites that can work just like apps. Firefox OS is based on open web technologies, which blurs the line between native apps and mobile sites. The telltale sign of a mobile site is that it opens in the web browser. We found that not all sites render correctly, so they can't properly replace an app. The notification area features a fixed selection of quick toggles on the bottom. Notifications themselves behave just like you would expect. Tap to open, swipe to dismiss. Switching between apps is done with a long press on the home key. The switcher shows thumbnails of the apps, but only three at a time, and the selected one is way too big and it obscures the other two. A nice option we found in the settings is that you can swipe between apps. Firefox OS is still young and its app package isn't very rich, but all basic phone functions are handled as of version 1.3. You can import contacts from your Gmail account, but this is a one-time, one-way process. You need to manually hit import again to update the contact lists, and local changes you've made aren't pushed back to Google servers. If you want proper contact syncing, you have to rely on Facebook instead. The calendar app handles multiple Gmail calendars easily and syncs without issue. The email app was also very easy to set up with Gmail accounts. If instead of Google, Google you're using Microsoft services for your contacts, email and calendar, Firefox OS can handle that as well. Apps can be installed from the marketplace. You don't get asked about app permissions during the install process as each app will ask for each permission the first time it needs it. You can give it only temporary permission and use the settings menu to edit them individually. Mozilla went with Nokia Here Maps, same as Amazon. The app can plan routes and has live traffic updates but does not do voice guided navigation. You can download off offline maps but just one at a time and route planning still requires a data connection. 